Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. This is what a uh, tattoo looks like. Okay, it's uh, not a king of herrings, it's a tattoo, uh, cutlass fish. Beautiful color. This is uh, part of the catch I took. I showed you the video of me catching them, and I don't know if you can remember, they have this. This very sharp teeth, um, the real uh, predator's uh, hook-like teeth, like this. Um, they can give you a really nasty bite. So usually when I'm uh, fishing for tacho, uh, when we're done fishing for there, I just chop the heads off and throw them uh, overboard. But um, today I left these on just to show you, okay, what it looks like. Um, but again, there's no real, um, there's no real. Uh, There's no real uh, meat on the head. So the first thing we do when we're cleaning uh, these fish is to chop off the head and make it safe. There we go. And that's, we'll just bin that. Uh, the great thing about uh, Tachio is that uh, they don't have scales. Okay, so this very shiny uh, skin with this sort of uh, silvery sort of powdery substance on them but they don't have scales so they're actually really easy to cook in the kitchen because you don't uh, have to muck around with the scales. That's the fin here, I'll just take that off as well. I left that on by accident. Now, uh, the way most people eat tacho in Japan is something called shioyaki which is just literally means um, salt grilled and it's really easy, we just chop and the fish into chunks, and then I stick them in the griller uh, that I have uh, here in my kitchen. It's just crazy, there's only like three ingredients, right? You've got fish, salt, and then you just put a squeeze of lemon on top, and that's literally all it needs. Um, it doesn't need anything else. And if you've never eaten tacho shioyaki, you would probably don't can't imagine how good it tastes. If you have eaten it, um, you'll probably know what I'm talking about if you're an angler here in Japan. So I'll just cut this uh, to size and remove uh, the intestines as well. You always find the clerk or vent is here. We can just put the blade in, cut right through. And then we'll just take the, the guts out. There we go. It's uh, simple. So easy. And we'll just give uh, the internal cavity just a uh, nice wipe like this. A bit of blood comes out. And then I get rid of there's some eggs stuck on here. I'll get rid of them. That's basically it. Uh, the tacho is ready for grilling. Actually, I forgot, sorry. Um, a tail comes to this very fine point. Some people in English call them like a hair tail yeah, or a hair tail scabbard fish. Um, there's no meat on here, so I'll just chop it off here. I guess if I were running a restaurant or something, I'd stick the tail in a pot for broth uh, with other fish bones. Uh, so we've got our tacho, and we're just going to just chop it into just random chunks. And then another one, maybe about this size. And then we just put them on the griller. It's that really that simple. Okay, so I'm just going to season this guy uh, just with salt. So all it needs, we'll put some uh, in the cavity as well. Okay, bring the guy over. And then we'll just we'll put some on the fin as well. It's more for decorative purposes than anything. Okay, and then this guy goes uh, in the grill. Fish. 
think this guy should be ready. Oh yeah. So this is what the shiraki looks like when it comes out of the griller. Okay, um, you don't want to overcook it, but just so that uh, silvery skin starts to get a little bit brown. And all this needs is uh, some lemon. Uh, and we're done, basically. Uh, tacho and the shiraki. Okay, salt grilled cutlass fish. Uh, if you have a chance to try this, please do, um, especially if it's a uh, line caught uh, by an angler. It's one of the, I say, one of the tastiest fish in the sea, really.